Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to Card Making Project 606. Now today we're going to make one of my favourite types of card. We're going to make an easel card. And we're using a new die to me. It was out last year with Anna and it's just such a beautiful die. Now I want to run through a couple of the items that we are using so that if you have them you can make the card or if you don't have them you can easily substitute them. Everything I do use I should put in a detailed list on my blog so please be sure to check it out. Share it with your crafty friends and check out the extra projects on there and all the photos as well of the projects. So the first set of dies that we're going to be using is the Bohemian cut and embossed dies from Anna. We're going to be using this die here, if I can just remove it from the sheet. We're going to be using this little ornate die. We're not using the shadow layer, we're just using the ornate layer and it's just a little bit of extra something for our card. Now the easel die, card, um, die set that we're using it was option two. It was the second um, on UK, um, when I say on UK, on QVC UK, because the first one we covered last year in a five day series and we used it in so many different ways. But today we're using, it was the second option of the ornate easel die cut set to make a gorgeous easel card. So the full set will make the card. I personally favour easel cards because they're just so unique. And don't forget the ornate layer that is here can be used on your card fronts as well. You don't have to use it all the time with the easel set. You could use it portrait or landscape. And it's just such a beautiful day. We will be revisiting this set to use it differently in the future. So, out of all the dies on this set, we are using them all apart from this one. Which is a beautiful label die. But we're using the whole set, apart from that, to make our card. Now, what I've done is I want to show you it from start to finish so that you know what pieces to put where. So this is the main die, the large die that you cut out. Score lines are already on it. This is going to be the back of my card. So I've used my handmade by stamp from Anna Griffin. I've added my name, I've added the project number, just because that keeps me in check so I know what project we're on to. Now, I've kind of folded it, I haven't scored it yet. This flap is the flap that you will put the adhesive on. So we'll go through it as you know as we make the card. So the second layer, I'm saying second layer, the second die is the full what we would call a shadow layer, or it's actually going to make the front of the card. Now I've used general double-sided Anna Griffin cardstock for the main body of the card. And then for the extra piece, which is going to be the front, this is from the Greenhouse Card Toppers collection from Anna. Those are going to be all the embellishments. We're actually not using a great deal of items for this card, but it's kind of like making it all match. So the first thing, after we've cut our base easel card, we need our bone folder. So I'm using my bone folder from the Anna Griffin tool collection. And the first thing I'm making sure is a nice sharp crease is the edge along the side. So that's the main fold. Then the second crease is the flap. Now I've already put adhesive on mine, only for saving time. So we fold the flap back and add the adhesive. So I'm scoring it to make sure it's nice and sharp. I'm going to peel the adhesive carrier um, layer away. And then I'm going to take the actual large, what we'd call the shadow layer, 
and I'm going to place it over the base of the card like this and it's going to stretch over and lay flat there we go and then that is the start of our easel so that has the action now to make the easel so all we have to do is decorate it so the base that we've just added was from the greenhouse card topper collection I've die cut the ornate layer out of gold satin foil cardstock from Anna Griffin I've got 3D foam on the back and I'm just going to place the ornate layer over the layer underneath and then press it down so already that looks really elegant and rich next I've taken two of the fern embellishments from the greenhouse card topper collection I've got flat tape on the base and I've just got a little bit of 3d foam at the top and I'm going to position them just kind of in the middle and kind of symmetrical as well because you know me I kind of like the symmetrical look so I'll add those there next I've taken two of the florals from the greenhouse card topper set now normally you would die cut um, sorry you would decoupage these over the top of each other but today I want to do something a little bit different with them. I've got 3D foam on the back of both of them. And I'm going to add the one with the flower pot to the centre of our card. And then the one without the flower pot I've turned upside down. And I'm going to put just to the base of our card like that. So it kind of makes it look like the flowers are running all the way down the centre. Next, I've die cut the large label die that's with the easel die set. And I've just used the same double sided cardstock that we used for the actual base. I've got this on flat tape, so it's going to sit flat through kind of the centre. Then I've die cut a second layer using the label die that's with the actual easel set and I've got this on 3D foam and I'm going to position that over the previous layer like that. Next, now this is where the bohemian die comes in. Where we're using the ornate die, I've die cut it out of the gold satin cardstock from Anna Griffin. And I've just got flat tape on the back of it and I'm simply going to add it just towards the top of our label like that and press it down. Next I've taken one of the die cut stickers, um, the sentiment die cut stickers that's in the actual greenhouse card toppers collection. Simple sticker, peel the back away and I'm going to position that over the centre of our label dies and just touching the base of the actual bohemian die and then I've got a nice pale green bow now I add my bows with 3D foam and I'm just going to add this to underneath the sentiment like that so that's the front of our card complete but we need to be able to make the stopper because we want to be able to make it into the easel card. So we can just flip that to the top and now we're going to do the inside of the card. So I've used one of the actual sheets from the greenhouse card toppers where you get the layers. I've die cut this with the ornate die from the easel card um, die set. I've got flat tape on the back of it and I'm just going to add this to the inside of our card 
like so. And such a pretty layer. Now, don't forget, you could use this for any occasion. You don't have to use it for a birthday. Next, I've die cut the two label dies, again, from the Ornay Easel card die. And the first die cut is the larger label, and I've used the gold satin foil for this. This is on 3D foam. Now, I want to know roughly where I want my card to stand up. So I don't want it too much to the front, I want it kind of to the middle. So I'm going to add the actual label die roughly about, I was going to say a quarter of the way up into the card and press it down. Next I've got a second layer and this is just plain ivory cardstock, 3D foam on the back. And I can add that over our previous layer. Then I've taken the Bohemian die again and die cut it out of the gold satin foil. This again is on 3D foam and I'm just going to position it not to the base but just up a little bit. There we go. And then finally I'm going to add a sentiment again from the greenhouse card toppers and this says every day is for flowers which I think is perfect so you simply peel the carrier sheet away and add that over the top of the base of the bohemian die and that will act as a stopper for your easel and then that now, I know you're going to have trouble seeing that. But then that is your easel card finished. And it just looks so pretty. Don't worry, I will take lots of photos. And you will see it stood upright. And it's just such a beautiful card. I do like easels because they have such a great effect. And they're always so beautiful and they always get the wow factor. They flatten down to go into a normal envelope. This is no exception. It will flatten down, even though you've got those layers, because it's still, you know, it will still go down. And then when the recipient opens it and puts it up, wow, you get the wow factor. I just think they're great, suitable for every occasion. Now, I've done so many different easel card video tutorials. Please check the blog because um, I think I mentioned earlier I did a special where we did five days of using easel card die sets in different ways. We made a crisp, great Christmas card, um, like a double fold. We did a scrapbook page. We did some overlaying with using different cardstock. Every day was just something completely different and they're so versatile, they really are. So always think outside the box when you're using your easel card dies. So please check the blog for the extra photos for the other tutorials. Don't forget to share with your crafty friends and pop over to Facebook, find my page and Marie Vo, and give me a like. Let me know what you think because I do love hearing from you. So I would just like to say thank you so much for watching and I shall see you next time.